Hello traders, the uh, title of the video is uh, how to sell a stock on a short report in the financial markets. What is uh, a short uh, report? Or a short report, or people are shorting a stock, and uh, okay, one have discovered that uh, over few weeks people were building a shorting position. They want to sell the stock. They believe that the stock should go down more. So they are selling the stock. That's what we call a shorting the stock using a CFD. All right. So how to sell a stock on a short report in a financial market? So to summarize that question, we can say that how can one, okay, sell a stock on a selling recommendation? So this, there is a report that says that uh, one should sell a stock, all right? So they say, all right, this stock must go down, all right? Everybody should jump on it and sell it for the sake of selling it, all right? Now, how do you re use that report, okay, in a financial market? Do you just go and sell the stock because there was a report that people are shorting the stock? Or how do you go from the, using that report to time the market and sell appropriately? Or can you use the short report and take a contrarian position? What, that, what do I mean by contrarian position? Which means though they are saying that one should sell the stock, you are buying the stock instead because your due diligence or your technical analysis is revealing okay the opposite of what the report is reflecting all right so how to sell a stock on a short report in the financial market well the financial instrument that we are looking at is Celadon Group Incorporation. If my pronunciation is not correct, correct me in the comment section or just laugh loudly. Okay, Celadon Group Incorporation. The epic is CGI. Okay, CGI. Okay, that's uh, the epic for that uh, stock. All right, it belongs to the industrial sector. All right. So recently there was an article in Benzinga.com. I talked about this website before. The title of that article is Celadon falls 14% following a short report. Right. However, Aegis says buy the dip. Now this article is written by Jim Swanson. Jim Swanson, hello. Okay, it's an excellent article about Celadon Group Incorporation, a New York Stock Exchange. Okay, stock. All right. Shares of Celadon Group Incorporation plummeted Wednesday following a short seller's report published by uh, Prescience Point Research Group. The pullback creates an opportunity since the concern mentioned in the short report are not new. Now, you have to understand this is what I was talking about in the earlier video that I titled uh, Stock Trading, what one analyst thinks will get that stock going. We were talking about the Nvidia stock. I was telling today that the market is always looking ahead. So sometimes <laughs> there is a report, okay, to sell, all right, but that report, in fact, has expired. Though the report was lagging, it's late, the report is now published, everybody's aware that they should sell now, but <laughs> it was too late, that's what I'm saying, it's too late for that report, all right. So the report may, I'm not saying this is the case here, I'm saying that sometimes a short seller report may be late, which means when by the time the report is out, all right, it's too late. People sold it already, and they are just ready to cash out now. And here you are, you want to sell. Don't be the last seller, okay? <laughs> sell another day, all right? So they say that, uh, okay, the reform, okay, is distorted, okay? The report is not new, all right? So... Other market analysts say that people should buy the dip, all right? So in this tutorial, we're going to look at the chart of uh, Celadon Group and 
and see whether the report is has already expired or not. So talking about market looking ahead, if all right, the report that is public published today has already okay been used, all right, that report will be useless for us because other people so they say sell to them but people sold it already and now it's oversold and there is no more reason to sell market looking ahead which means they have been selling that uh, stock over the year due to that report that is now released so should we it's like uh, okay you have uh, been uh, okay punished all right for something that you have done but it was not published, okay? Now, it's published that you have done that. Should you be punished one more time? No. So this is the case about market being looking ahead. So sometimes the market is already aware of the reason why one should sell, okay? Smart <laughs> money knew that, okay, this story we should sell it. So they have been selling it over the year, over the year. And now suddenly... For the same reason, people bring that report out and telling others to sell. If that is the case, one should ignore okay, the short selling report. Instead, one will take the opposite side, which is a contrary attitude to buy the stock. The opposite is also true. Sometimes you may have uh, okay, those who are loading it, buying it. Okay, the report may come too late. They say, buy this stock today. So, all right, <laughs> so they are making money right here, buy it here, all right? But that report that is released here is too late. What one should do is to take a contrarian position and sell instead. But now let's look at the report again. So let's continue. Maybe I should read it more. You like my accent? Yes, you do. All right, <laughs> this to make you laugh a bit, okay? Don't take it serious. Why rate rating a buy rating and price target of fifteen dollars? So this talk today, all right? So today is uh, the tenth of uh, April, two thousand seventeen. Okay, even if you're watching this video a few years later, remember, it's still valid for stock trading. Well, stock today is at five dollars seventy, but analysts at uh, okay, AGs uh, set a price target at fifteen dollars. Now, anytime you 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 notice that they set a price target for a stock, put it on your chart and ask yourself why the analyst will choose that price. Usually, they use a resistance level. You see, they use resistance support level. This is the price level, fifteen dollars. Is corresponding to a specific a key resistance level on the monthly chart. See here, prior rally, a break below, retest, find a resistance, boom. Break, you see, retest, down, retest, down. Okay, breaks the ball, retest, boom. It's that, the, that is the target they set for Celadon uh, group, all right? So the analysts usually use the resistance here. So the stock at $5.70, they set a price target at $15. At the same time, there is a, a short seller's report asking market participants to sell the stock. And the stock fell 14% recently. So if you go to the uh, daily chart, you can see here, you see here, phew, it's on a daily chart. But this is, uh, you see the volatility here, all right? You need to be aware that's what's happening. Because of the short sellers report, pew. But we are now at a support level here. Will it break through and continue to go down? The analyst at EGs, ages, all right, uh, are saying that people should buy the dip, contrary to the short sellers report. So what do I think? Okay, that's a very good question, George. What do you think? What do you think, George? We go to the monthly chart. Just the price target set at fifteen dollars. All right. If you ask me, Joe, what will you do at this stage? I will not sell this stock. I'm not interested to sell this stock. Why? The reason is they have been selling it for, okay, some time. You see here? Pew, 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 They were selling, okay? The bearish trader were jumping all over the place, up and down, celebrating, all right? They have been selling. I don't want to be the last coming to that party, to that bearish party. I want to be the first coming on that uh, 
to sell it. So I don't want to be the last person selling it, all right? So this is the reason why I do not want to sell this stock. I'm not interested in selling it. Does it mean that the stock cannot go down? No, it doesn't mean that. It's just me, 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 do not want to sell it, okay? Because we, they have been selling for some. So one thing you can take away from this tutorial is that if there is a, a short seller's report to sell a stock or they have been selling it, and you notice that the stock has been going down, not for one month, not for two months, for many, many months, you may decide to skip that. All right? But if the stock was retesting or is at a resistance level, okay, so like here, you see this resistance here? There was a resistance here. Move it here. There was a resistance here. There was a resistance here. Suppose you were here, okay? So we are now here. And we have the short seller report. I will be interested in that report because the price now at a resistance level and there is a report that people are selling it. Well, where is the best place to sell? Resistance level. So I will be putting this stock on my bearish watch list and I will use a top down trading method to trade it without ignoring the economy news and the fundamental relating to that stock. One more thing, a short seller's report does not mean sell, it does not guarantee that the stock will go down by all means. One can take the opposite style, which is the contrarian uh, trading okay, a strategy, all right? Okay, so talking about myself, I will not sell it, okay? And I explain to you why, okay? Now, going to the mind of area wave traders, you can see that the price came down one, two, three, four, five. That's another reason. All right? Okay? I don't want to dwell on that. And also, another reason is that the price is now at a support level. Which one? The support level is in the zone of $5.07. So, if somebody, which is not me, I don't want to sell it, want to sell this stock, now the price is at a support level, five dollars zero seven. If one want to sell, one will allow you to break below that five dollars zero seven, break below, retest, turn around, or look for bearish chart pattern below that level. Okay, that's the best way forward to sell it and to trade it like a pro using a top-down trading method. All right. But personally, I will not sell it, even though there is uh, okay, a short sellers report relating to uh, Celadon. Okay, uh, 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 group, all right? All right, so, so those are the reasons why I will not sell this stock. Now, going back to the article, seller don't fall 14% following short report. AGs, AG, is my pronunciation correct? AGs says buy the deep, all right? Now, I'm more for buy the deep because it's at a support level. So at this stage, all I will say, Personally, I'll be looking for bullish trading setup above the five dollars zero seven, but I'm not interested in the selling below that level. All right. So prior to bullish signal above five dollars zero seven, if there is a bullish trading setup, one will implement a top-down trading method to trade it. But there is something that you need to take into consideration if you want to swing trade or position trade this stock and or buy and hold this stock because it's now at a support level, all right? You need to take into consideration the S&P 500, which is the market. We are trading first the market before the uh, Celadon uh, stock. The market is now confined in a triangle, giving us a warning, anything is possible. Uh, personally, this is not the best time to buy stocks one should at this stage because it's confined in a triangle i'll be playing a consolidation game looking for stocks that are also confined in a triangle okay on a monthly chart that will be okay my strategy all right stocks that are reflected the market so i do not trade against the market if the market is at a resistance zone look for stocks that are in a resistance zone if the market is at a support level look for okay stock that are in a support zone, if the market exhibits a bullish chart pattern, look for stock that exhibit similar okay pattern and flow with the market without fighting it. All right, and always check the economy news relating to the stock before you buy a whole, especially if you are a swing trader, position trader. Always go to Google for that. Check the economy. You don't read one or two, read many of them and see what's going on with this company, especially if you don't know, if you are not following that stock, all right? You are not a specialist, okay, day or swing trader, position trader 
of a seller don't group. You want to know what has been going on? Other traders that have been trading that stuff for years know the story. You want to know the story and know where we are and what is likely to take place. And then you apply also, okay, the fundamental analysis. If you want, you say, George, I don't care about fundamental analysis. At least perform what we call the Google Asset Test. You may, okay? YouTube search video about Google Asset Test or go to www.stochastic-body.com and click on uh, Finance and then you will see something about Google Asset Test there, okay? All right? So if I go for the monthly chart and I go to the daily chart, we are now near the support level, $5.07. Going to go quickly on the daily chart. Here we are on the daily chart. Uh, you see, he retests that level, he bounces up a bit, will he hold it? That is the question. So on a daily chart, he's just holding it here. But still, as I told you, the, the price structure, <laughs> trader hit me when I'm saying this sentence, but I like it, all right? The price, the current price structure. <laughs> to make you laugh a bit, all right? So this declining channel, right? This is a declining channel on a daily chart, a double bottom. It may pierce through it, but you have to handle it carefully, all right? Uh, for traders that want to be a little bit patient, it will say, all right, let's see, break the ball, display a higher low or a test, all right, and then they take it from there when it start turning, all right? But the S&P 500 in a triangle is putting a bullish traders under pressure, okay? Understand that market first, all right? So if you are buying, all right, be gentle. Be gentle, okay. Feel free to quote me. That's all the daily chart doesn't look cooked already, it's coming up a bit. But let's go to the hourly time frame. Here it is again. That triangle is still in place. Uh, even on the hourly time frame, we'll prefer a bigger double bottom, something like this, or right? a bigger double bottom widely. All right, that would be a beautiful. So, this is the first uh, hello. We let it if it can push it here and then come back, all right, and form a gigantic a double bottom on the hourly time frame. And then we we'll take it from there and see whether it's going to pierce through it. That will be better. But remember, if it did below the $5.07, I'm not interested to sell it. Other trader may sell it because it's below that a key level. So, what can we take away from this tutorial? There was a short seller's report, doesn't mean sell. All right, a short seller report may be late or may, may be okay, obsolete because the market has already played that report. Is they, they already quantify that report into the price, they sold it already, so we will disregard that report. The reason why I want you to understand that because if you are trading the financial market, you may use those uh, uh, short sellers report to take position in the financial market and sell. But if you see a short seller report, you want the price to be in a resistance zone or the market to be in a resistance zone or market sentiment becoming a little bit bearish and all this taken into consideration, you will apply your top down trading method to sell the stock successfully, all right? But if the report is, has expired, you know, this report is obsolete and has already been quantified, there's no point to take into consideration uh, that report. One can take the opposite side, as always. You want to be a contrarian trader, contrarian investor. You need to play carefully because you are trading against a report, all right? So the other trader will just go and sell it. So know that there are other people taking other side of the position. So when you are taking a contrarian position, you need to okay be very very defensive. I.e., uh, use okay uh, option, all right, which means time expiration, and don't bet on it because other traders are busy selling. When you are trying to buy as a contrarian traders, use stop loss, control the risk and don't expose yourself, so to speak. <laughs> all right? All right? So this is the end of this tutorial about how to sell a stock on a short report in a financial market. One will only sell if the financial instrument is at a resistance zone or we have a bearish trading setup, all right? One will only sell if the report is still valid, okay? Very, very important. And this report is not obsolete, all right? 
as always, one will only sell if the market itself is also bearish because if everything aligns beautifully, the report is valid, all right, the price at the resistance level, all right, and everything aligns beautifully, but the S&P 500 pullbacks with support level as if it's a bullish trading setup, you may hold it, you don't sell it, you wait until the market itself is bearish, and then you play together with the market. Some traders may disagree with me, but I think by uh, trading, by aligning, uh, okay, trading strategy with the market, it, it helps us, okay, to avoid, okay, nasty uh, surprises, all right? Best way to flow with the market instead of doing your own thing, all right? So if you like this video, okay, give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, we want to know, think that this is another blah, 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 George, all right? With funny accent, put in the comment section. <laughs> And of course, okay, that will put me under pressure to improve my uh, recording on YouTube. All right. Any question, any suggestion, put in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question. We are the GSTW24 uh, traders talking about how to sell a stock on a short report in the financial market. Happy trading to you all. And speak to you sooner.